Hey guys, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto. First, I'd like to make an announcement that this will be the only video this week, and there will probably only be one video next week as well, um, just because even though I do feel better, and I have caught up on my homework. However, on top of everything else, I'm also going to be moving. Yay! And the only reason this becomes a problem is because my new lease has already started. And I have packed zero things. So I should probably do that instead of recording. But I wanted to give you guys at least one video this week. And hopefully at least one video next week until I can get back to my two video a week schedule. So I do apologize because I did not plan for all of this to happen like this, but that's how it worked out and this is where we're at. On the note of my friend, um, so she actually lives in Texas and she was affected by all of those crazy snowstorms that just came out of nowhere. Um, so she is still recovering from that, so she will not be joining us, at least not for this video, maybe the next video. She really, really wants to come on board and watch me react because she thinks it's hilarious. So that is that update. Now that all the serious stuff is out of the way, I would like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you guys so much for following me on my Shinobi journey. Next, I know it, you guys know it hopefully at this point, that even though I have been an anime fan for a very long time, I have never watched Naruto. However, because it's been out for so long, because of the internet, and because my friend, who I forementioned, one of her favorite animes of all time is Naruto, there are just some things that I already know about it. Now, to the best of my knowledge, it is only names and like, names. <laughs> no real major plot points. However, I have come to understand that I don't really know what I know until it comes up because sometimes something happens and I'm like, wait, I've heard of that before. So I do apologize if that upsets anybody, but there's not really much we can do about it. So we're just going to enjoy watching Naruto and hopefully all the babies will be okay. <laughs> okay, recap. Now it has been a minute. It's been like three weeks since I watched the last episode, but um, I re-watched it of sorts, and basically we just discovered that, and well, everybody passed. We still can't get over the fact that Kabuto is working with Orochimaru, but we're gonna just keep pushing past that one little detail. It's gonna be okay. But everybody passed, all the rookies, it's very exciting, and now they're explaining like the true meaning of the Chunin exams. And basically it's all about proving your military strength and keeping the other villages in check. I don't know how I feel about that because why? I mean, I know why. Somebody was very kind enough to explain it to me in the comments because I was very confused at the end of that. But still, why? I'm not saying we should all just sit in a circle and hold hands and sing Kumbaya, but like, why can't we all get along just a little? I mean, I guess they do get along because in a sense, they're all doing this exam together. They have a mutual understanding and I can be, I can get on board with that, but I just, anyway, I can't explain myself very well and I apologize. So for this next episode, I'm not really sure what I'm hoping for. Um, I'm assuming that they're going to explain the next part of the exam better or at least, I don't know, go into more detail about it because they started to and then that's when they explain like the true purpose of the tuning exams. So I assume we'll have a bit of recap of that and then they're going to explain what the third part of the exam is. And I remember them saying that they're going to have to have like a preliminary round because so many of them pass and it's like, has something like this hasn't happened in five years and I still want to know what happened five years ago. Like, what happened? And that's pretty much what the whole episode was about. It was kind of, kind of fluff. So... Yeah, we're just gonna get right into this episode because after this, I get to pack. Woo. I really don't want to, but adulting. 
kind of have to do it even if you don't want to. All right. Anyways. Uh, opening, how I have missed you. You know, I just realized that they show Sakura with her short hair in this opening. And I, didn't phase me. Here comes my favorite part. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Every time I see it. Every time. Okay. I might as well just watch the whole opening at this point. Oh, this is such a good opening. All right. Let's do this. Oh, right. Fighting and dying is friendship. Okay. Any test is fine. Just tell me what the details of the exam are already. I can handle anything you throw at me. Hmm. I can handle anything you throw at me. I'm sure we'll get into Gara later, but still, he kind of freaks me out. Oh, I totally forgot about this guy. The guy that's just like coughing. Okay, they're gonna explain the preliminary. Preliminary? Just what do you mean by that? I'm sorry, since they excuse me, but I really don't see the point. What's this preliminary all about? Please explain it to me. Well, you see, the first and second exams might have been too easy. Too easy? According to the rules of the tuning exams, a preliminary round can be held at any stage in order to reduce the number of candidates remaining. But Why? As Lord Hokage said, a lot of important guests will be watching. We can't afford to waste their time. They've come to see only the best. Okay. So you who feel you're not in top physical condition, now's your chance to... <coughs> Talk about not being... <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. As I was saying, any of you who don't feel up to this, now is the time for you to bow out. You know none of them are going to bow. They just went through five days of intensive nonsense. Sam, don't we get a break? No, apparently not. <laughs> I'm with you, Choji. I want to eat. I'm, always these taiko drums get to me. I love it. They have to kill their opponent, their children! Uh. Anyone's gonna quit. Mm. Not this thing again. You've been like this ever since you tangled with the Rojimaru, and it's getting worse. It's that mark he put on you, isn't it? Ugh. Oh yeah, Naruto was knocked out for the whole thing. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh. Poor baby. No. Uh, remembering this makes me so sad. Still proud that Sakura was able to stop him, though. It's just as I feared. What do we do with him? They all know, and they're not saying anything. Also, nobody locked you up. But you also have a mark. That thing is feeding off his chakra. It's a forbidden jutsu that devours the one who bears it. It's incredible the kid's still standing. By now, he should be dead. Okay, but like, she has the same mark. Okay, you got me. I'm out. What? I I don't understand. The fact is, ever since orientation and that dust up with the Sound Village team, I've had no hearing at all in my left ear. And now to have to put my life on the line, to fight again, right away without a break, I can't do it. Don't feel bad for him. Don't feel bad for him. 
wiped out before a battle. What kind of game is he playing? Says here he's failed six times in a row. Does he just do it for the info? It took him a full three tries before he passed the graduation exam. As far as the missions he's carried out since then, there's been two C ranks and 14 D ranks. However, go on. There's something before his time in the academy. Before? Do you remember the child? The one who was found after the Battle of Kikil Pass? The only survivor? I remember the story. Okay. He was found barely alive and brought back by a Jodi from the medical unit. You're saying this is that boy? He's so evil. I have questions. I have questions. You take my place, haven't you? Go for it. <laughs> you may be Orochimaru's favorite, but be careful you don't push it too far. He says favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't trust him. The old do might blow my cover. You wouldn't be much use as a spy after that. So he is a spy. With you here looking after things, you don't need me, do you, Lord Orochimaru? I guess I'll just have to save my fun for later. <sighs> Keep it together. <sighs> Okay. Keep it together. That was a lot. Also, I hate this. You want to quit? I can't let this go on. I have to tell them. Don't you even think of telling them about this mark? They already know, but you don't know that they know. She's your teammate, dude. It has everything to do with her. She took care of you for days. What I am is an Avenger. Okay. Am I as strong as I can be? All I want is the answer to that. I can only find out by fighting the strongest. Okay. What? What? <laughs> Rivals and friends. Allow the boy to continue with the exam for what? now and we'll see what happens. But Mokokage. Uncle, you also have this mark. Also, Orochimaru is behind you. they don't want to get rid of their prospects. The names of each pair of opponents are chosen completely at random. Before each match, these names will appear on the display behind me. So they don't know until the their, till their match comes up? Wow. That's so nerve-wracking. <laughs> you don't even have time to prepare. Sasuke's first. Now everybody's watching him. All right now, those whose names have been drawn, come forward. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, that makes so much sense. Cassie, pay attention. 
He looks like he could be Orochimaru. Ugh, snake face. If you ever hope to take me on, something's wrong. He's acting strangely. Could it be the curse mark? Sasuke, good luck. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rock Lee, you have the best reaction to this. Love you. Love you so much. Oh, so many people know about this curse mark. Uh, if that mark on your neck gets out of control, your life could be in danger. I'm aware of that. Just to let you know, if it gets to that point, I'll have to step in and stop the fight. Good luck. Oh, Kakashi. He gave you a warning, which he didn't have to because he's a great sensei. is not gonna go well i don't think anyway and if you're ready let the match begin oh i'm ready so am i what is happening Already? what That was cool. Good job. What? I know that they're going to explain his jutsu, but this is really freaking me out. So he takes your own energy? Does he take your strength and use it against you? This is the end. Yep, that looks like the end. Yeah. I knew it. As I thought, that was kind of another introductory episode into the next part of the exam, this preliminary round where they have to get rid of half of the contenders. So obviously still in shock about Kabuto. I mentioned that in the beginning, but the fact that he's his favorite, but that he does this all the time, that he, I don't know, was a part of some incident several years ago, and that he's probably stronger than he's letting on, obviously, and that he gets, he gets this far and then he just quits because he's a spy, so he's just there for the information, which I guess makes him valuable to Orochimaru, but also, this is annoying, also, like, realizing the scope of Orochimaru's reach like, he's already redisguised himself. He has the Sound Ninja. He has Kabuto's team. He's got, like, all, all the, he's obviously been working on this for a very long time. It's like, it's like those people that are, like, uh, chess players, and they just have been, they're in it for the long game because, or they're always not, not necessarily the long game because, you know, but, like, they think about it so many steps in advance, which makes him an a good villain because you want some a villain that's like smart because it makes things interesting but also very annoying so i am very curious about how this battle between sasuke and this other guy is gonna go and i am curious about his jutsu the other ninja's jutsu which i'm sure they will explain it because that's just what they do. But it makes me curious how this match is going to go. Now, it's reasonable to think that Sasuke will win, but I could be wrong because I never know what's going to happen. As usual, I have so many questions and I will just wait for them to be answered because 
that's all I really can do but I will say as like my last little note for this ending portion that I really really appreciate that Sasuke said that Naruto was one of the people that he wanted to face now he could have just said that because he knows that Naruto is simple in a sense in that he will be on board with Sasuke continuing to fight knowing if like he if Sasuke acknowledges him as like a true rival which they are they're the rival best friends because that's shonen there's always rival best friends I also would like to think that he also sees how strong Naruto has gotten especially at the end of the forest of death whenever he just like kept going and kept going and realizing like the extent of his chakra and knowing that he is just a very resilient person he's also just very stubborn which i think might play uh, a role in that but i really i appreciated that but i also really want to know if naruto ever if anybody ever explains to naruto what actually happens <laughs> what well, happens but happened like in the past because he's still very clueless on what went down but he knows that sakura is concerned I also, I don't think Sakura should be so hard on herself, like, she is obviously very concerned for Sasuke, I'm concerned for Sasuke, but, you know, he's a boy, so he's just gonna continue doing what he does anyway, but, I mean, he's also, like, driven by his desire to get revenge for his family, so, you know, it's part of his character. But I also realize that her concerns are valid. Like, she watched everything happen. She took care of them. She, well, she watched him get, like, infected, because that's what I'm gonna call it. He was infected. She watched him get sick. She watched this evil thing take over him, and she's just really concerned, which I think is valid. <laughs> but, you know, things are just going to happen the way they're going to happen, and hopefully nobody will spoil it and tell me that Sasuke is going to be evil. You know, I really should have somebody, like, read the comments before I do. So that way I know that I'm not getting any spoilers when I go in to read them. I do read all the comments, guys. Even if I don't respond to every single one or respond right away, I do read all of them. But anyway, we're going to pretend that we don't know anything about that because even if we know it's going to happen, the how, the how is important. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye!